Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Parga Tech. this is episode 8 and today we're carrying on with the Wild West uh, sort of mining themed area with a log flume, very traditional to have a log flume and a mine cart uh, coaster near each other and that's what we're doing here. So we start off with a pool of water at the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the mountain there. It's going to be a very standard um, layout really for the log flume, basically up and down twice or I think it ends up being three times. We go internally into the mountain once and, uh, and we come a little bit close to the coaster but we don't really intertwine it because log flume shouldn't, shouldn't be a massively long ride. In fact the longest log flume I've probably been on would be uh, Splash Mountain in Disney uh, and that's a good sort of eight or nine minute ride to be honest and frankly it's a little long but they have a lot of theming as it goes sort of uh, animatronics and things around which obviously is something we can't really do in this game yet so um, so for that reason we keep it relatively short and sweet and we make sure each of the drops goes into the pool of water uh, keeping it relatively realistic because usually even though the uh, the channels of the log flume are on a different uh, system to the to the to the water the the excess water has to overflow somewhere for it to be pumped back into the ride so uh, the log flume needs to sort of drop into water basically so I have a bit of trouble here trying to figure out what to do. I definitely wanted like a like a double drop, uh, which you can see is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but struggle a little to get a double drop with enough sort of excess round. And then here I wasn't very happy that the water, that the the, the 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 log flume tube, I guess, the run uh, was higher than the water. So we actually go back and change that in a little while. I definitely wanted to come quite high up for the second drop though. Uh, my only problem here was. I was struggling to get back into the water and I'm not a massive fan of using those S bends that you can see I've used at the top there to be honest I always find that they're a bit of a fix um, so we have a bit of a go here trying to get it uh, to the edge of the water wasn't happy with it and then also realized that you could see the tubing for the uh, roller coaster underneath in the water there which I really wasn't happy with so ended up going right back uh, taking it all the way back and, uh, and, and trying something almost completely different uh, doing this sort of method here, going through the uh, the mountain a little, and then back out and have a diagonal drop there. So here with the mountain, um, my idea would be that that is the area where there would be some animatronics. You know, sort of log blooms usually they're either sort of mine themed or or maybe uh, animal themed or something like that. So in there there'd be some you know, animals digging in the mine or something, I don't know. Again, we're very limited in what we can do in this game regarding tunnels and things, so we kind of have to leave that open to our imagination. Anyway, we have a second drop, and then we come back up for a nice big third drop that then drops down back into the uh, into the station. I have to make the station slightly shorter there, uh, but it's not a massive problem with here because the, uh, the amount of uh, sort of carts on the ride aren't based on the station they're based on the ride length because it's almost a continuous loop but your lug flumes are almost treated like army movies in that they never really stop moving um, so you'll see that once the uh, once the ride has filled up I guess with 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 flumes um, it, there's never any sitting in the station or maybe there's one or two sitting in the station but you'll see as uh, as it's sort of fill up there we're just checking it runs through properly and there you go there's always one getting loaded up as the next one goes out which is really perfect for a log flume that's kind of exactly what you want it's the best you're going to get regarding queues talking of queues we drop that down there and then follow the exit as well and then as always we have to drop a little uh, our little no entry sign now you might notice as I start on the scenery here that I have actually installed a few mods now I know I've spoke before about not particularly liking modded content in games but seeing as this game is still such an early development the pieces that are actually part of the game so far are relatively limited and obviously a lot of the development at the moment is going straight into rides so every sort of expansion we get uh, sorry or update we get excuse me uh, the, it's usually one or two major rides and then bugs fixes so the scenery is slightly lacking at the moment so because of that I've downloaded a couple of scenery mods just so we can do some slightly more interesting things uh, from this we're going to be moving on to a pirate area and there's a fantastic pirate mod uh, that I've installed that just gives us some uh, some extra scenery items, treasure, uh, cannons, masts for ships and parts to build a ship even and, um, and I just think it gives us uh, a little bit more options for now obviously once the main game actually 
provides its own pirates theming, which I'm sure it will, uh, we'll probably get rid of that and, and redo it with uh, with the genuine stuff because I, I normally am one for not using uh, using mods. You see here, I noticed there was loads of sick coming off the mine train ride, <laughs> so uh, and I realised that I hadn't issued any uh, any workers down in this area, so I'm just zoning the area off and uh, it becomes Wild West area. I, I say Wild West area, it, it isn't really fully themed Wild West, it's more of sort of like a mining area, but for now at least, maybe when some more Wild West theming comes along, we'll, we'll go back and, and re-look at it. Just joining up the river with the uh, large area of water here, I think that looks uh, pretty good, even though it isn't probably very practical. Uh, like I say, the water under a log plume is really used as a system to, to re- uh, I don't know what the word is, rehydrate the log flume, I guess. Uh, so it isn't really practical that it runs off into a river, but, you know, this is a video game. Some of these things we can uh, <laughs> we can let go. Uh, and now we're building a bridge. And one feature I've noticed uh, that's really useful, actually, is uh, on the scenery selector here, you'll notice an eyedropper. Now, I believe that was colour, and so I clicked it and realised that, actually, if you use an eyedropper on a piece of scenery, it, it's basically a duplicate scenery button. Incredibly useful. So here you'll see that basically we're building the bridges again that we built over the river somewhere else. That's going to be a theme that runs through the park. And it was literally a case of using the eyedropper tool to uh, to duplicate each part and then bring them. Oh, excuse me for knocking the microphone. Bringing them over and uh, and re uh, reapplying them somewhere else. So that's what we do here. Uh, once that's done, we start on some slightly more specific theming for the ride. The log flume itself doesn't have loads of theming. Obviously, if I had some sort of water fountains and stuff, I, I would maybe line some of those into the ride, you know, sort of uh, spraying over areas of the, the log flume. Uh, here I've built a sort of splash zone. You'll see there's a couple of signs there saying splash zone. It's purely aesthetic, obviously, uh, but that's the sort of thing, again, you see in a lot of places, there's an area where you can go and watch the flumes come down and you'll get a little wet. Sometimes it even goes over the flume, but uh, with the build we've done here, we weren't really able to have a... It would be a path to nowhere almost if we did it over, so we've done a side-on sort of splash zone like that. Here, we're, uh, we've got a small bit of flat land that ended up being made from the uh, from the coaster being underneath. Um, so I thought that we could carry on the, uh, the theme of the mining town and uh, replicate that uh, over here with just one of the buildings. And again, I'm using these eyedropper tools to really sort of make the best use of my time and um, well, as much use as a time playing a video game can be spent. One thing I didn't actually do, I noticed here, is uh, go back and uh, sort of finish off the tubing uh, that goes into the, the mountain there. You'll see the log flume goes into a tube, whereas here we've used rocks to cover it up. So I may go back over uh, just in my own time and and fill those sort of last few bits of rock in that we've missed. And then finally, we need to build a bit of a station for the ride. Again, it's going to be nothing fancy because we're relatively limited on Wild West style theming. You'll see here I've got some building pieces that I've uh, that I've added in through a mod. Uh, to be honest with you, I got lost. There's so much stuff there that I really need to have a good sit down and look through it off camera. So for now, all I've done is uh, kind of duplicated the uh, the, the the mine train uh, station with some slight differences. So it's a similar sort of theme, but it's not identical. Uh, but we've gone again for the sort of dark wood, uh, white trim and trellis, um, just to sort of uh, to keep it relatively themed in a similar sort of style. I really love this trellis that we've added to a few of the rides now. I think it's a really nice design and it's much more interesting uh, than a roof. And I think it's much more interesting to be able to see the, um, the peeps sort of queue up and wander through as well so it's almost like a, a a cheat of being able to see into the building but uh you know it's still looking good so that's what we've done there we had some windows to the uh, to the right side there of the log flume for the loading up area and then uh, we had a we had a roof on the actual entrance area there uh, and then trellis the queue so again it is very similar to the uh, to the to the mine ride but uh, still with enough difference to sort of make it its own building and again, we use the uh, the white trim there, which has kind of grown on me since the last episode. I, I won't lie, it isn't very Wild West, um, but I do like the look of it, so we, we've we kept it, so we'll deal with it. <laughs> uh, last thing then is some trellis along the top, and then we're pretty much done with the theming. The last thing I do uh, in this video is just kind of go over the um, paths and the uh, sort of outside areas with some log uh, benches that I think fit quite nicely to the West theme. 
and, uh, and some bins, uh, some, some trash cans, and um, uh, a few lights and things, and, uh, and and some trees. Now the lights I've used are these. These these are from the pirate theme, but they're absolutely gorgeous. They're like a lantern. Uh, they really sort of fit a, a western theme as well. Uh, so I've gone for those rather than the iron, the raw iron ones we've been using in the in the sort of starting area of the park, just to give it a little bit more theme. I may even go back and change the flooring here to to really emphasize the fact that we're in a different area as well and, and perhaps even some sort of wooden fencing around the path as well is probably needed. Uh, so last thing then we go and find some trees. I'm just using the basic fir trees here. Uh, like I say we have some palm trees that we're going to be using in the pirate area that I think we're going to be starting next episode. So what I'd like you guys to do is tell me which rides you think would be best suited for a pirate area. Now the one that's kind of obvious is a pirate ship. Uh, swinging ship is going to be the first thing we build there. Obviously perfect for pirates but have a look through if you've got the game yourself and have a look see which other flat rides fit uh, and also if there's any coasters you think would really fit the theme anyway thanks very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you in the next one